I am Dr. Vikash Agarwal, Senior Neurologist and Movement Disorders and DBS Specialist working at Rela Institute and Medical Center. We know Parkinson's is a neurodegenerative condition. It is a progressive condition and it presents with stiffness of the limbs. It presents with uh, tremors, postural instability, speech difficulty and many non-motor symptoms like sleep disorders, REM sleep behavioral disorders, constipation, mood changes. So there is a whole plethora and constellation of symptoms. So in the beginning, it is important to understand that 80 to 90% of management of Parkinson's disease is medical therapy. A very good medical therapy can really improve the quality of life of our patients. Along with this medical therapy, there are a group of patients when as the disease progresses, they tend to become having a lot of fluctuations, that is, they get on and off periods where they are very good with medicines for few hours and then the effect of the medicine is uh, diminished. Along with this, they can also get uh, problems due to levodopa, which is called as levodopa-induced dyskinesias, which can come when the medicine dosages are very, uh, dopamine levels in the brain are very high or erratic on or off periods. At this point of time, the medical management alone may not be enough to give a good quality of life. And that is where the role of deep brain stimulation surgery comes in. So deep brain stimulation surgery is a relatively very safe surgery. Uh, there is no craniotomy involved in this particular surgery. There are only two burr holes which are done or small holes in the skull is done through which we put electrodes in the brain under the guidance of uh, MER or electrophysiological guidance which is decided by the doctor uh, on table that is a movement disorder specialist. Uh, to improve the quality and the accuracy of DBS it is required that we have a team of specialists a functional neurosurgeon, a backup psychiatrist, a good neuroanesthetist and an anesthesia backup support. So when a DBS is considered for any patient and when we switch on the battery, the life can extend up to four years or even up to in permanent battery changes or up to nine to 10 years in case of a rechargeable battery. What happens is that these electrodes deliver a small amount of current in a very specific minute area of the brain, which is called as subthalamic nucleus. And this gives benefit to the patient. So deep brain stimulation surgery is a really life-changing surgery and it improves the quality of life but it needs to be done very precision based and we at Rela are committed to deliver a very high quality DBS uh, surgery to our patients which are real indicators. Uh, this uh, indication every patient has to go through a, a series of evaluation before to consider whether he is a candidate or not for deep brain stimulation. So if your loved one has Parkinson's disease and you feel that your family member need much more care and if you can think of considering other options of treatment, I would highly recommend DBS evaluation. Whether the patient undergoes surgery or not is a secondary point, but you should evaluate the patient for the possibility of deep brain stimulation in Parkinson's disease. Thank you.